Hello, 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 Albanidis Constantinos here. And uh, I will uh, show you very fast um, how you can uh, fix uh, Elementor error uh, 500 HTTP when uh, you're trying to save your uh, uh, your page, okay? Uh, I'm I noticed too, too many projects that uh, while uh, I was working I had this kind of uh, issue and uh, usually when you uh, test your page and you make changes and everything uh, you come up uh, with this kind of uh, problem. Uh, the main reason almost uh, every time because uh, I you know I troubleshoot uh, too many websites and uh, I, I have uh, uh, I have noticed that uh, uh, the main reason is uh, the the memory the PHP memory used from uh, your website uh, uh, your uh, WordPress okay uh, what do you have to do the uh, the fastest uh, way to fix that is to uh, increase your PHP memory. Uh, max memory used for your uh, website uh, to one gigabyte or uh, 512 uh, megabyte it depends on uh, uh, how uh, big is the uh, dom of your uh, website and uh, your the page that you're working uh, but uh, you know when uh, that happens uh, usually it happens to a page so uh, to this page you you happen to see Sorry. So when you you're trying to to save the page, like uh, mm, you know, I'm gonna just change something here. Let's say that uh, I'm gonna write here one, two, three, and then I'm gonna click uh, uh, publish. Uh, you usually see here an error that it says uh, uh, 500 uh, error, and uh, uh, and that way. Uh, if you close the page and uh, open it again or if you preview the page you're gonna notice that uh, nothing changed and uh, the page remains, uh, remains the same um, what is happening with uh, Elementor and you have this kind of problem uh, it uh, every time that you save a page and you make a, um, you you change something on it uh, you're gonna see that uh, you have uh, uh, different versions or uh, versions of uh, your page uh, being saved okay if you click here you're gonna see the history and uh, all the changes that you make uh, all those uh, all those changes are uh, gathered over here if you're gonna make too many changes and uh, you have a, a very big uh, page um, that is gonna uh, need a lot of memory to um, to store all this uh, data uh, so uh, don't panic and do don't start recreating your site don't uh, uh, try to uh, copy this page to another page and then start again and anything the only thing that you're gonna do uh, it's gonna be what I'm gonna show you right now okay so uh, from the moment that you see this error you're just gonna have to to close and go back to WordPress okay now um, here I'm gonna go back to uh, WordPress here and then you go to plugins okay we're gonna uh, install a plugin okay if you have uh, access to your um, uh, uh, from uh, FTP it's uh, easier but uh, if you don't uh, you you just uh, can uh, fix the things but by installing uh, a simple plugin let me show you let's go to file manager okay we're gonna find the file manager and we're gonna install the file manager okay you see that was really easy I'm going to activate the file manager and uh, the next thing we're going to do is uh, to increase the memory of our uh, WordPress uh, site okay 
uh, sometimes uh, you have to go through the uh, panel of uh, um, of the hosting panel uh, and uh, fix it from there but I'm just showing you the easy way uh, that uh, almost every time that worked for me uh, here you go to uh, WB file manager from the side you're gonna see the files of uh, your website over here you see it's a, a very easy to use uh, uh, plugin and here we're gonna select the WP config PHP and we're gonna click on edit file okay let me okay now while you're editing your uh, uh, WB config uh, PHP you're just gonna have to come over here that it says define WP debug and uh, over here you just have to add this um, uh, this one over here define WP memory limit and uh, try to uh, to take it a little bit high to 1024 megabytes and uh, you're just gonna have to just save and close okay that's all and uh, trust me that is gonna so solve your uh, your issue with uh, uh, Elementor and uh, you're not gonna have any other uh, problems if you want to go deeper and uh, you want to uh, clean uh, all these temporary uh, files created from this page uh, you can uh, even um, download let me show you you see if you click save and uh, you try again to save with Elementor you're gonna see that you're not gonna have any other problem because um, Elementor is gonna have more uh, memory to uh, to work with and uh, it's not gonna have problem to to save the uh, the page um, if you want to clean those temporary um, uh, files let me show you if you want to clean uh, um, the temporary files you can just come here uh, click advanced um, uh, database you're gonna see now it's a uh, uh, advanced database cleaner this one and you're gonna just want to install it and enable okay I'm gonna activate this one and now that we have uh, the uh, advanced uh, the advanced database cleaner we can uh, easily use this one if we want just to to go over here WB DB cleaner and here you're gonna see that there is the revisions these revisions is uh, the ones that they're causing the problem with Elementor uh, 500 error okay uh, so the one thing that you're gonna uh, need to do here is just to clean these revisions you see I'm gonna click apply and continue and it's gonna go to zero okay um, it was very easy I guess and uh, on that way without uh, uh, any uh, uh, special uh, other uh, tool you're gonna be able to uh, fix the issue uh, if you want you can uh, just keep those uh, tools while you're working on a project or uh, you can just uh, use them uh, anytime that uh, you're gonna have this kind of uh, issue thank you very much for watching this video and uh, I will see you to the next one bye bye